Well, I would say Hartley Bear Foundation is uh, more of something that uh, is allowing for people to come in and make a kind of a memory bear, people refer to it as. But it got named after my grandpa, who was my best man for our wedding. His name was Hartley Alden, and he passed away in 2008. And after his death, my mom and my grandma had made some teddy bears out of his clothing items as a keepsake for us. And we felt like at, here at the funeral home, at Matson Funeral Home, to come up with the idea of allowing people to come in with their loved one's clothing items and to make a teddy bear out of their clothing items as a keepsake. There's some people out there that have companies that you can send clothing to, but this is a workshop here. And so again, that's why we called it Hartley Bears. But there's no cost at all to come in and do that. Uh, it's just a nice ministry. I'd say the event is important. It, it kind of helps, I feel like, with the grieving process. It allows people either that have used our funeral home to come back through the doors, um, to acknowledge the passing again. They're carrying their loved one's physical clothing items. Sometimes they're able to bring a picture of their loved one. They're carrying a picture of their loved one that was wearing the clothing item at that time. And it just, it's, I would say it's difficult to put scissors to those clothes too, but they are repurposed and they're physically out there more for display at their home or in their bedrooms or wherever. Something to hold on to when we have a tough time. Well, I work with Becky Olson, and Becky told me about it, and um, my dad had passed away, and I thought it was such a great opportunity to come and, and make something that meant a lot. I think it's, you know, it's my dad's shirt, and he wore it a lot, and to me, it, it says my dad all over. So um, I think just when I see it, it I'm going to remember a lot of good stories. Just, Just thank you to all the volunteers that are helping, because this is really a great thing. I just, I'm gonna love it. Well, it's, it's my mom's article of clothes that she wore all the time, so we were, we'll look at it and think of mom all the time. And I'm making this one for my dad. The love of his life was mom, so he's gonna have this bear to put on his bed. And Well, I think you just try to pick out something that you'll remember your loved one in. So something that you saw him in a lot, or maybe have a picture of him in that you can sit by your bear. Well, I just love all the friendly atmosphere and then the memories pop back up of your loved one and talk about the stories and... Well, like the one I'm making for my grandma is made out of like the three sweatshirts that she wore pretty much all the time. Especially the pink one, that's the one she wore the most, so that's why it's the body and it's just, I don't know. It's a way to kind of keep a part of her with us all the time. This particular bear actually means a lot <laughs> to me. Like, my grandma and I were super close. She almost pretty much raised me for a good portion of my life anyway. So, I don't know. It's super special. Just that all the families can get together and kind of, you know, we're all grieving, so we're all sharing that experience. And then the whole making of the bears, it's really special, especially for the people that have kids, like my little brother. It means a lot because last year I made my bear for my husband, so it's kind of a way to help someone else go through that same process. Um, I go to the grief um, on the third Monday with Kelly at, um, at the Benelli's, and I heard about it there. It was a really hard decision because I didn't know if I wanted to cut up his favorite sweatshirt but after I got here and got with all the people and started making the bear, it was a really good decision. I really like it. He sits in our living room in the rocking chair every day. It means a lot because it came from a sweatshirt that he almost wore threadbare. It was a favorite shirt. And seeing it now, every day, it just, it's just a good feeling. After my husband died last year, they had this program here at uh, the funeral home, the Matson Funeral Home, to welcome us into their place to make these bears. And I made one for him last year out of one of his shirts. So I thought it would be nice this year if I could make some for my brothers. My 70-year-old brother is taking care of my 80-year-old brother who had a stroke who never married. And so he took him to his home in Mississippi and is caretaking. 
and he brings him back to the farm in Nebraska a couple times a year because he likes the farm. And so I thought the next time they'd come, I'd present them with these bears. I just hope that in their homes that it brings back good memories to them. Um, the bear tells a story about the person who was alive that had worn the clothing. And um, it holds a lot of memories. And I, my father passed away last year, and I made a couple of these with his clothing. And when I feel sad, I'll just give it a hug and it gives me a big relief. My mother was one of the original volunteers here. And she had been t telling me about it for years. <laughs> I finally became a volunteer myself. The first family member here that I had was a, a nine-year-old girl. Her grandma died. And um, it was her experience that really hooked me into doing this because when, when we got done with it, she said, can I give you a hug? I thought it was just gonna be a hug, but she hugged me forever and ever. I started crying, I looked up at her mom, her mom was crying. And I guess the fact that something that we do means so much to someone else and that we can help them. I get um, a real satisfaction of um, helping someone through this process. It's amazing. If anybody was wanting to get involved with the Hartley Bears, we would encourage you to call the funeral home at 651-464-3556 or to look us up on Facebook. We have a Hartley Bears page on Facebook, um, but we have lots of volunteers and not every volunteer is able to be here every time. So we have anybody that's able to just simply assist in laying out patterns, cutting them out, advising families to accomplish sewers. So I would say call our funeral home. And we have started several of these at other places throughout different states as well, giving advice. They, we've asked that they name it something differently, but um, it's been a fun ministry.